Yes, sir. My name is Akashi, guys, and in this video here, I'm bringing you guys a guide on how you can get infinite zenny, infinite skip tickets, and infinite energy. This is not cap. I always come through if I got a video like this. It's going to be very, very useful. And for most of you, anyways, you should be able to actually abuse this for what is left of when I'm making this video 18 days. So. Hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this video. If you haven't already, make sure to press the subscribe button, man. We are on this grind to 40,000 subscribers. Recently hit 30,000 subscribers and hit 32,000 subscribers. So I appreciate you guys showing all the love support on the channel. It does mean a lot. If you're new here, definitely add to that subscriber count. There's no teachers on my channel, so you do need a sub. I love saying that. But yeah, all my social media links are going to be on the bottom of the screen. This is the YouTube channel. We've got Twitter, Twitch, Reddit, Instagram, and a Discord link all in the description below. So make sure to check me out on all of those. I also stream every single day on the channel. So if you catch me live, I stream from 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. GMT and twice on the weekends if you're in a different time zone. Convert that to whatever time zone you're in. I'm in the UK, London. So I'm British. That's my time zone. So if you want to catch me, it's the best place to ask me any questions. If you've got any questions, definitely just pop into the live stream. You can just say hi, or you can just ask a question and dip. You can vibe out. It's a good time when we stream, so come through. But yeah, I don't want to hold you guys up any longer. Let's actually get into the core focus, which is how you can get the infinite resources, which is Zenny, Energies, and uh, the big one I'm missing, Skip, t skip Tickets as well, all three. The, the big three of resources in Legends, probably. So yeah, let's get into it. All right, so the first place I'm starting is the exchange shop because I'm sure you guys are familiar with the Penenko medals. The Penenko medals here, which are something that is just going on, heading into the festival basically, but it's for the superhero campaign. And you know in this exchange shop, they have a limited amount of stuff, but they also have like slot removers, which are unlimited as well. So, which is very good. I should actually add in the video, you can get unlimited slot removers, add those to the title. But um, yeah, you can see there's a lot of resources in this exchange shop. And as many as you can grind of the Penenko medals, you can exchange unlimited amounts. So you can see with like the gold bars, it says 20 times left. So I can only get, I said gold bars, gold uh, medals, the training things, the bells, damn. You can get a 20, 20 amount and you can't get more than that. But with the skip tickets, you can see it's infinite. So as long as I have Penenko medals, I can keep exchanging for skip tickets, energy, zenny, and what I just found out right now also slot removers so that's very useful but why this is useful is because the event which is currently in the game the full power battle is lasts for 13 days and in that 13 days every time you play a full battle ba full power battle damn it's beating my ass you can actually um get consistent drops and it's an offline game mode meaning you don't have to re rely on anybody else now why this is especially useful is because if you have Beast Gohan, it's easy as cake, bro. It's one of the easiest full power battles I've ever seen. It just takes a bit of your time every single time. Probably one minute or two minutes at a time, and you get five coins every single time, as long as you're doing the um, the hardest difficulty, which is Scream. And I will show you a run of me doing it. It's so easy, fair enough, my Beast Gohan's 13 stars. But with the hype that Beast Gohan brought, probably all of you have Beast Gohan, like all of you. If you don't have him, you're just one of those unluckies and you can't feed off this, which is unfortunate. But if you have any spare time, literally just grind the full power battle mode so that you can get your unlimited resources. I'm trying to get 9,999 energies. I'm trying to max out my Zenny. I'm trying to get max slot removers because it goes up to 999 now. So I'm going to be playing this a lot. You've got 13 days to play the full power battle, power battle. And I'll show you at the end that every time you play it, I believe the beginner one, you get like one every single time. So normal. If you do the hard one, you get like two or three every single time. But the scream one, you'll get five every single time. But if you have Beast Gohan, it should be easy to clear the actual scream one. So just go ahead and do the scream one repetitively. If you haven't done it already, I'm going to give you some tips now on how I can actually uh, aid you to actually clear this much easier. So yeah, let's get into those. So the big question people are really going to have for the full power battle, what's the team formation? Well, obviously I've got Beast Gohan there. What you should really look at is the enemies element so hyper metal real though is actually uh red so you're going to be want to you're going to want to use blues beast gohan's obviously the best blue in the game but the best character in the game on top and he's boosted so that just makes him insane i got super baby 2 now what i advise you do i know it is slaving but you should actually complete the gauntlet i went ahead and already did that because you can actually get super baby 2 zenkai med zenkai uh zenkai 7 medals whatever you call it the awakening power for it so that you can get him to the highest Zenkai possible and then soul boost him because he's going to be your second up and coming man. 
Uh, for number three, I've just got Trunks. It doesn't really matter, but I just went for somebody that's boosted and not type disadvantage, so don't choose any yellows. If you have a blue that's boosted, then use the blue, but I didn't, I didn't, so I went for the Trunks here. And then for the blue here, I didn't have a blue that's boosted either, so I just went for, I don't even know what's, what's blood, my blood's name. What's his name? Nabana. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, you can see there, um, I could actually swap him out for somebody else, another Sparking Blue. Um, it might actually be better to use probably metal cooler but he's been doing well i did it very easily regardless so i'm not going to fix something that's not broken so don't you don't have to use an ex you could use super, i advise probably using metal cooler he's probably way better but i'm not fixing something that's not broken it worked for me cool um i just auto select the bench for the most part it works very well and then if you have a guild you will be able to select the comrade so you see in my case here i've got dragon fist goku and as long as it loads it takes forever to load sometimes the friends list but wait for it to load come on we just wait Come on, legends, legends, legends. People are waiting. The viewers are waiting. They're waiting a very long time now. Come on, man. Ah, uh, they got me embarrassed, man. I'll probably speed it up. Oh, there we go. All right, so obviously, if you've got guild members or friends, you can actually pick from their um, units that they selected as a comrade. You can use your friends as well. It doesn't really matter who you pick as long as you just have the, like a good Z ability. So I just picked Dragon Fist because they were high stars. 14 stars, that's the best Z ability you will get from any unit if they're, as long as they're 14 stars, right? You can't duplicate, so you've got to be careful. Like this one, I didn't have a guild uh, member here. But obviously if I, like for example, if I pick here, I will miss out on the fact that um, I can't have super perfect cell, perfect cell here. So I have to reselect the auto. Sometimes it doesn't work like that. Sometimes it takes away from other people's comrades. So you just got to make sure you're not overlapping as well. But for the most part, it's not really a big deal as long as you have Beast Gohan. That's the main thing I want to point out. Uh, I'll just confirm that. Just to be a nice guy as well, also select some comrades for your friends and guild members. I haven't done that because I'm actually a super villain. But if you can, I advise you definitely do so because you could be helping out a deal. So I'm just going to pick like some random people that I can just see here. It doesn't really matter to be honest um but of course you could help your friends and that would obviously be of aid to them i think that's everything i've actually got to say in terms of um for the infinite resources as long as you're playing every single time i'm just going to show a gameplay at the end of this video of me actually clearing the highest difficulty with ease but this will pretty much be the end of the video but yeah that's pretty much going to close out the video like i said in the exchange shop it's going to last the panenko medals there you can see the timer that you have on the shop it disappears on the um the 28th no the the 28th here's the 28th american dates man get me a headache in the uk we put the actual date first so the 28th this exchange shop won't be here anymore but what's more important than that is the fact that this full power battle disappears in 13 days so you gotta make sure to actually clear it as many times as you can in 13 days 13 days is a long time so yeah hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this video uh it's just a little thing i just noticed it costs one energy to play it you're gonna go, you're gonna earn way more like if you just if you go to the the Penenko exchange shop you get one medal is 10 energy so don't complain about energy using them hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video i'll show a gameplay at the end of the video like i said if you haven't already make sure to press the subscribe button man we're on this grind to 40,000 subscribers hopefully this is very useful all my social media is going to be on the bottom of the screen this is the youtube channel we've got a twitter twitch reddit instagram and a discord link all in the description below my name is Akashi, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Like I said, I stream every single day. So if you have a question, pop into the stream and that's the best place to ask me no matter what I'm streaming. My name is Akashi, guys. I will see you guys in the next one, man. All right, so I wasn't going to commentate, but I thought I'd give you guys some tips as I actually run through the scream difficulty because the main thing that you need to know is actually how to move when you're operating Beast Gohan. So what I want to advise you guys do is to consistently worry about emptying your gauge. The more you empty your gauge, the more you can actually use more, uh, get more ultimate damage, which is what you're actually building for. Because at the end, that's where everything's really important after you land your rush. Now, you might not be able to pull off what I'm going to pull off here, but even if you don't, you can just rush instead and your ultimate will still have the same amount of damage. So you can see at the start there, I used my green card. Now I use my blue card. That's the second empty gauge. So the only time I'm really worried about uh, my cards is just so I can empty my gauge. That's 30% I've already built up. Um, I've, I've filled it up again. Hopefully I can get a green card or a blue card. Then I'd be able to immediately pop um, um, my gauge again. But they're not giving me. Come on, load in, load in. Damn. You can press these cards earlier, but I don't advise doing so. Just in case you don't draw one later. 
but it's also good to do so just so you can actually get more cards in your deck so you can re -con you can re fill your gauge again to re-empty it again so you can just run more smoothly um i'm just getting unlucky right now but obviously you can only get so many so often right now i've only filled my gauge twice i'm trying to empty it so i'm not worried about the damage the team is pretty solid uh right now my gauge i can empty it again uh just waiting for this to empty all right cool i mean get off the screen um gonna go ahead and do that what i've noticed is i don't actually need i don't need my rise and rush here so if i can do one all-out rush with the blast and i can do one with the the strike i should be able to clear his bar then a rising rush hold on as long as i can get that cool then a rising rush into um after i empty the uh what you call it the bar as long as you get the bar down should seal the deal basically i might not even need um my second one yeah i didn't you see luckily what i'm gonna do just to make it easier for myself is press the green because he does go type neutral on the green when the gauge is full i'm gonna rush into that just so i can maximize my possible damage do this as normal right after this with that free gauge empties i should be able to just pop my ultimate and that will just seal the deal like it should be that simple so i'm just gonna wait for this to run out it's quite a long animation i'm not gonna lie yeah, I don't even need to rise and rush to be, I mean ultimate to be honest. If I just used a couple cards, he'd die the same way. But LF animation might as well see it. But that's pretty much it for me. Um if you struggle on getting the bar down, just press the rise and rush. You saw how easily I done it without even using two all out rushes. Two all out rushes should definitely do the job for you as long as you have Beast Gohan. But if it's not, you feel free to rush. Feel free. I just think it will make it longer after the fact, so I don't rush. That's pretty much the end of the video. Like I said earlier, press the subscribe button, man. Bring you guys only the best. My name's Akashi, guys. You see the five Penenkos. I just do it again, rematch, and I'll get more victory rewards. Going up in the results, one, four, four. I had one, three, seven before. No, I had. Well, I'm bugging, bro. My max one, three, nine before. My name's Akashi, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one, man. Damn.